I'm Dr. Jack Gilbert, and isn't she adorable? Up to 20% of women suffer from depression during pregnancy or postpartum, which poses a risk not only to the mother and the family, but also to the child, which can be born prematurely and have an elevated risk of developing behavioural disorders. While strategies exist for treating depression, up to 75% of women still receive inadequate care, in large part due to concerns over the side effects associated with the antidepressant for both the mother and the child. This combined with the social stigma of a depression diagnosis has led many women to shun conventional medicines. But there's compelling evidence that we can develop new therapies to harness the bacteria in our body to treat depression naturally. Can we help you with something? Beatrice Benalva from the University of Chicago has been investigating the role the microbiome plays in depression during pregnancy. We, we are right now, we are starting to follow women uh, during their pregnancy and after postpartum. And the idea will be compare their microbiome while they are not depressed and then when they start getting depressed and see what are the bacteria or the microbes related with it. The initial hope is just even getting like a marker for depression. Like, there is no right now any biomarker that you can take a blood sample and say you are depressed. Even if you don't want to tell me, I know that you are. So in the long run, it will be like developing some kind of prebiotics and little natural components that you can take it and will change your gut health. Um, so that depression will not occur. We've also found out just how important a healthy microbiome can be for the baby as well as the mum. In the United States, 12% of children are born preterm or with an extremely low birth weight. Despite an increase in survival rates in recent years, those that do survive have an elevated risk of neurodevelopmental disability, which can substantially affect their cognition and delay their school readiness. Erica Claude at the University of Chicago Department of Pediatrics has shown that the microbiome can play a substantial role in the neurodevelopment of children. So my goal is to understand the earliest microbiome, how different communities influence appropriate development, and then understand what aspects of our therapy in the nursery have an impact on that. And really, rather than manipulate the microbiome, I really would rather have a role in protecting this normal development. So we're actually studying the microbiome of the first two weeks of life and studying how that first initial microbiome informs basic pathways associated with inflammation, growth, and neurodevelopment. Um, so there's a lot of connections because there's a lot of development going on in many arenas all at the same time. Like most animals, we humans have a strong desire to care for our young. That's why it's important to leave no stone unturned when looking for ways to improve or sustain the health of our children, especially those in need. Very soon, we hope to be able to develop new therapies, all thanks to the body's 40 trillion passengers, whose survival is very much linked to our own. Excuse me, can I help you with something?